assuming I've never worked in IT before or never worked with any programming language, where do I start? I start by installing the environment. I start by installing the kind of the, the source code for that language. And if there's any editor that I prefer to use. In other words, uh, suppose you want to send an email. Uh, the first thing we all need is we need that environment. We need a web browser where we can go in and, and log in uh, or the app platform where we're going to install it. But once we do that, you can use different ways to send your email. So you, you might prefer gmail.com. I might prefer outlook.com. Somebody else might you know prefer yahoo.com to send our emails. But at the end of the day, we just need to have that platform available. So what we're going to do today is two things. We're going to install the Python environment. So now we can compile and write code and, and it, it all makes sense. So we have that environment, the Python environment. And then the second step is we're going to choose what's called a code editor. So this is where we're going to write our code. And, 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 and usually a code editor has additional features. So it has things like autocorrect or, uh, you know, syntax checks for you when it shows you what line to go in and find the error messages. So different people will use different code editors. Uh, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go first and install the environment, which is the Python environment. And then step two, we're going to install our uh, code editor. We're going to do this in two steps. Step number one is where we're going to download the environment itself, the source code, where we can now, our computer could understand Python. And then the second step is we're going to go to the IDE or kind of our code editor. We're going to be able to enter that code in a way that is easier for us to do. So to download it, basically go to python.org python.org, click on downloads, and you can choose the environment you're in, whether you're in Windows or Mac or other platforms. In this case, I'm in a Windows. So I'm going to click on Python. You always want to get the latest version. Download it. It's downloaded. I go to open my file. I'm going to click on install, but one thing that's very important to mark is click on add python.exe to path. So that makes it easier for uh, the environment to be uh, kind of uh, once you start using code editors and so on that it recognizes it. So I'm just going to click on that and then I'm click install now. It's going to let it run its course and it looks like we're all set up and successful. So we're just going to close it out. So now we're done with the Python installation. So we do have the environment on our PC and our computer. Next step is the code editor. So one that we're going to use is PyCharm, which is you go to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. Over there, all I have to do is just click on download. There's two versions. There's the paid version, which is the professional, and then the community, which is free. For the purpose of this course, we're going to use the free version. So we're just going to click on download. It's going to take a little bit to download it. Now that it's downloaded, we're going to open the file. Here's PyCharm. Let's run to install it. We get this box. We're going to click next, next. I'm just going to have this shortcut to make it easier to find it. Click next, install, and now we're going to run to install it. All right. Once the installation is complete, we'll get this message. Run PyCharm Community Edition. Click finish. It's going to open it up for us. All right. And we're all set to go. So in our next session, we're going to start writing our first code in Python. But just a quick reminder, I'm just going to close this out for now, that there's two environments. The first one is the Python itself, the source code. Once we do that, we go into chatbrains.com slash PyCharm to download our code editor. In the next session, we're going to start writing our Python code. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us in today's session. We hope that you enjoyed it. And we'd like to invite you to a lot of our free sessions Simply visit our website at kinzitech.com slash events. Thank you again.